This is the Nutra Medical Report with Dr. Bell Deagle and Tim Alexander, Earl Sterling. Dr. Deagle will be here in just a second. Hey, Tim, I'm back now. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Tell us, a, tell us a summary of uh, all the uh, news that we're scoping up. I mentioned a bit of it in hour one with Jerry, but let's get into it. Well, uh, we continue to be heading down the world towards um, war in multiple areas. Uh, of course, China, Japan, but uh, and, but the real area is the Middle East. And um, uh, there's one article I linked that I was pretty good. World War III stages set Russia and USA fully arm opposition sides in Syria. Now, the death toll in Syria from the so-called civil war, which is not a civil war, it's a, a war uh, totally from outside. Regime change. Regime yeah. change war. Uh, it's now topped 100,000 civilians. That's a lot of men, women, and children that have been slaughtered because the globalists want a new world war to, to uh, establish their new world order, and Israel wants to lard it over all their, uh, their neighbors, and none of which makes sense. Uh, to human beings because we're talking about 21st century weapons of mass destruction and uh, you know these things don't go just go away uh, Syria is loaded with uh, she's got one of the most advanced chemical warfare programs on earth the Iranians uh, are also quite advanced in chemical warfare but in biological warfare they're probably second to none and by the way in, in drone research they're also very advanced and people Working should know on, that yeah. they have they have what's called the three levels of nuclear weapons. They have level one, which is sticky bombs of medical waste and low-grade uranium. Dirty they bombs, have yeah. nuclear weapons from Pakistan, and they have their own sources of uranium mines inside Iran, and their uh, their centrifuges, P4 centrifuges, are the most efficient on the planet for creating more efficient uh, uranium. They're not using the advanced technology the Americans and Israelis use using uh, lasers, but they do have very efficient centrifuges. The real issue is Iran has made blustering threats against Israel. Israel Iran, Syria has not, but Syria is a backdoor to Iran. The real issue is we have a war between Sunni and Shiite nations that's being pushed by both the West on one side, the Sunni, and the Shiites on the side of Russia and China. So we have the parties lining up for the wars of Armageddon in the future. Now, that could be delayed a decade, could be half a decade. But nevertheless, even if there's a period of punctuated peace, which we see coming, uh, we're heading toward Armageddon. Now, it's sorry to burst your bubble out there if you think it's a nice sunny day and the birds are chirping and your grass is growing and you're having a nice vegetable garden and everything's fine, but we have a number of brewing disasters. We have the dissolution of the normal ozone layer. We have increased solar activity of UVB light and UVC and D, which are toxic. We have Fukushima Daiichi. We have the loop current gone. We have the bond market blow. We have two airborne plagues on its way after the Hajj to North America. And we have the federal government interfering with the constitutional rights of pensioners, including policemen in Detroit. So there's 19 other jurisdictions that are ready to go bankrupt, and the damn Obama administration and the federal uh, judges are saying it's, un, it's, it's, it's unacceptable to have lawsuits that stop the government doing something criminal, which is to get 80 cents on the dollar to banks and give only 20 cents on the dollar to pensioners. This is the end game. And now, people don't want to think that, they just want to think, oh, how do you think you know? Well, we're quoting actual articles and things like AP Newswire, Reuters, etc. We're not making this crap up. And the problem is, people oh, I need wish to we were. smell. I wish we were. I mean, I wish, I wish I could roll up a sleeve, get a shot of an antipsychotic, and then a Dr. Deagle would just shut the hell up and go to sleep, <laughs> or go off and retire nicely. And all of this stuff is a delusion, but it isn't. I when I when they made Deagle, they threw a part of the way the part of my transmission that has reverse gear. I don't have a backup. I don't have a reverse gear. I don't have a sugarcoat the issues gear. I don't have a Dr. Nice gear. I have a gear of, if I'm your friend, if I'm your, your buddy, if I'm your compatriot, if I'm your patriot, I will die for you. I'll lose a limb or an eye for you. But if you're my enemy, you'd be better wishing that the devil himself was after you because you'd be better off. 
And what we have right now is we need real patriot Americans and people that love the Most High God and are willing, like Joshua Christians, to stand up and call it the spade a spade. The reason why Muslims are taking over the world is as evil as Islam is, they don't kill their babies. We are suffering from the uh, book that I gave uh, got 25 years ago. The other book, The Companion to Clay and Iron, is Abortion to Armageddon. And God gave me that title, and he told me that this is the reason why he's bringing judgment on America and on the West. We've aborted our population to the point now, if it wasn't for Hispanic immigration to America, this nation would be done. Europe is already done. Their birth rate is so low now in Italy that they actually have a death rate that exceeds the birth rate in Italy. A place that's a Catholic nation that should have tons of babies are all singing the praises of a new baby. Oh, we have a new one baby now. Is the, the, the young people can't get married. There are no jobs. Uh, you know, we have a deliberate destruction. And I mean, I want to emphasize the word deliberate. Well, the same thing with Fukushima. They're not fixing Fukushima. In Europe and in North America. They're also making certain they don't fix Fukushima. Dr. Deagle, sitting here in Vista, California, can come up with at least a dozen technical reasons how they could fix Fukushima and reduce the radiation release, and they're not doing a one. In fact, I've been trying to contact not only Senators Wyden in Oregon, Senator Feinstein here in California, and, and Congressman Darrell Issa, who I thought was pretty good, but he won't even respond by actually sitting down with me eyeball to eyeball and let me tell him what he needs to do. These people need to realize they're our servants, and we do know. I was a nuclear expert. I was an ACOM nuclear doctor taking care of nuclear plants in Savannah, Georgia, Central Illinois, and Rocky Flats. Dr. Deagle knows, and these damn politicians better start taking notice that there's people well, here in the public have skill look, sets. The politicians had an opportunity which they tossed in the waste can uh, right. in the House of Representatives. It was a, it, we narrowly lost, but we lost nevertheless. The, they were given an opportunity to roll back this NSA spying on Yes, you got to get into that. 217. Unconstitutional and illegal. Right. And, right. and they were, there was a, a wording in this uh, our defense authorization bill that would have clearly prohibited it. Now, it's already prohibited right. by the Constitution, but anyway. It, oh, who cares about a that? Majority, you know? A majority voted against that wording and voted to allow Two, the continuation of spying on every <laughs> single American. That Let me give you the America. numbers. Oh, by the way, the, 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 let me give you the numbers. 217 voted for it against 205. Now, people would say, oh, well, that's a, it's a Republican or a Democrat. No, no. There were 112 Democrats who voted to get rid of this damn violation, and a 97 Republicans. And Daryl Issa, who I thought was a good politician, voted for continuing the spying, saying we need to be safe. No, we need to have safe. selective... Yeah, we say, we're going to take away your freedoms. Safe from? You know that You're, no American was killed by terrorism last year, the year before last, the year before last in America. It, and, and, and anybody that, that believes the official conspiracy line about what happened on 911 is an idiot. Okay, well, you know, they don't want to have us challenge or ask them because they'll, they'll always start the ad hominem attacks. Deagle, who do you think you are? Well, I'm a guy with a background in nuclear chemistry, a background that has a scholarship that was going to go off to MIT in nuclear physics. I did advanced research and was also certified by the American College of Occupational Environmental Medicine as a nuclear member of the ACOM division. I worked in three different facilities taking care of employees working on nuclear plants, nuclear deposition, demolition sites like Rocky Flats. I know. So when I tell people that I looked at the data from U.S. Geological, not my data, their data, and I found 40 anomalies, 40, that proved that they use nuclear demolition micronukes to demolish the World Trade Center towers. They use high explosive core, not thermate. Some idiots like Professor Jones says thermate. Thermate's never been used for demolishing any building. High explosive core, RDX, and C4 pineapples have been used, and nuclear devices called micronukes, U.S. Army Corps engineer issued. Now, what the problem is, these politicians want to continue the game because the military industrial intelligence and media complex, you need to expand it now from Eisenhower's statement, want to continue massaging the public like a cow and milking us for their version of the timeline of the future. That's the problem. The timeline in the future includes World War III and we won't survive it. No, no, but you know what? Our God is God and he's going to intervene and he will pluck out that is the evil, the tares from the earth. That's coming real soon. Praise the Most High God. He's coming soon. Amen. Off of uh, Brazil, 
about six, seven years ago, but they're way behind us. Welcome back, and um, hour number two tonight, I'm going to be on the Rents program. I'm going to talk about something. I just want to introduce this uh, topic, so I'll expand on tonight. Sometimes I wander into the area I call the other 90% of things I know that will surprise you, because I know things that, let's put it this way, without exaggerating, I know things that no other human being has either published, reported, written on, or ever talked about in human history. Now, that may seem a little exaggerated, but let me give you an example. I'm going to deal with quantum and astrophysics. <clears throat> you heard about the Higgs boson, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you the structure of the universe, and this is something you've probably never heard before from anybody else. <clears throat> God resides in what's called the eternal now. Uh, if you look at the universe, it's constructed on harmonics. There's not four dimensions, as Einstein says, a four-dimensional time space. The minimum unit of time is granular. It's called a chronon. Okay, And the actual particle that actually creates the fabric of time space is the Higgs boson, which is literally the tiniest. They've actually worked out the mathematics of this, by the way, the chronon, in terms of the number, how bit small it is, if you look up uh, various sources. But if you actually look at uh, the Higgs boson, it actually is a microscopic, if you want to call it, subatomic wormhole. And uh, the best way to look at magnetism, it is n- a linear space mass conversion. So if you take two magnets, this is an experiment that could be proven by physicists that they're listening, and you can measure the mass of the two magnets and the space between them. As you bring those two super magnets together, the space between them decreases and the mass increases. People say that's not possible. Well, it's called quantum time. And there's not four dimensions, there's five. The fifth dimension is the Higgs boson, which is literally the wormholes. And when you what they're talking about using transgalactic uh, travel like Star Trek, they're creating what's called wormholes using the bosons. And the reason why they have above the Hadron Collider the statue of Kali, which is the great destroyer of the Kali Uga, which is, of course, to occur so many billion years with the great destruction of the universe and the ancient uh, mysteries that were passed down by the ancient Hindus because it was a great nuclear war, somewhere estimated between 13 and 15,000 years ago, I know from my chemistry professors in 72, because they traveled to an area of Ashurbanipal, India, analyzed the ground, in fact, found nuclei that indicated there was a nuclear war, and they also found similar nuclei in the area of Yemen and Saudi Arabia. So humanity has been stupid as hell. before the last ice age. Right. Right. Man has been very stupid before. This is like the Battle of Star Galactica, only quite a bit different analogy. We are, by the way, <clears throat> this is going to shock you a bit, but we are in a galactic and a cosmic war. We are in a war of millions of civilizations. We are in a war of demonic Nephilim. And our latest incarnation of these Nephilim, by the way, this may be something that may offend you, but it's a fact. <laughs> we are in a war with the people of clay and iron. Now, the most powerful thing you can do if you're high-level mason is to curse your seed your own blood descendants and literally open up the astral door so that they can be inhabited and you can create altars using Reiki and mind control and other technologies to create altars. And we talked about this last week when we had on our expert, Dr. Colin Ross, MD, talking about dissociative identity disorder and MPD. These type of technologies have been used for thousands of years in the ancient priests of Sumer and Egypt and going right back to ancient Atlantis and Mu. And civilizations where humanity has done unbelievably evil things okay now people might find this a little shocking but our whole universe is hologram it's created literally it's a maya it's a, it's an image that's why there's granularity to time space well, that's I, why the I, I'm a firm believer in the super holographic universe model of right now physics, yeah. now there's seven dimensions above that called hyperspace the number for man is six which means man's soul exists in hyperspace, which means our soul is non-local. That's why when you see someone, you know, there are stories about miners that are in Africans, and they'll know that their mother died 500,000 miles away, and the, and the miners never argue. They drive these guys like slaves in these golden diamond mines. But when they say a relative dies, they never argue with them. And they give them the money to get on the plane, and they go, they go back to see their relative, and they go to their funeral, because it's a big deal in Africa. You go for a funeral for like a week. 
The fact is that non-locality is tied in with why you can pray for someone thousands of miles away. Non-locality is why people have near-death experiences, why people have astral travel, why, uh, why, you know, why all these things happen. Why a in California can read my, uh, uh, can uh, project my uh, readings into a uh, quantum analyzer and uh, get a readout? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, we talked we about that last, last week. week yeah. Right. Now, a lot of people may find it a little bizarre, and they say, well, Dr. Deagle, then, you know, quantum that's not possible. It's, it's, it's classic yeah. quantum right. physics. Well, in 1981, I prayed, and I asked God, and he gave me a gift, which gave me a gift of medical discernment, and I literally uh, acted as a proxy, and you did the test, and I and held the electrode, and your test results came out, not mine. So yeah. what people need to understand is the higher seven dimensions of what I call the hyperspace or the spirit realm. Now, Satan was cast out of the eternal now, which is where God exists. There is no time or past, present, or future where God exists. It's the 13th. That's why you'll hear about the number 13, or Triskaidekaphobia, because Satan doesn't have access to the throne room of, of the Most High, which is in eternity. He doesn't. He's cast into what's called the second heaven. He's not down here in the third heaven. That's why you see the triple crown of the Pope actually has three crowns. The lower crown, and they refer to this as the lake of fire. Believe it or not, the high-level masons refer to our world, our universe, our burning stars, etc., our you know background gamma radiation, etc. They refer to this as the lake of fire. Okay, and our rulers, overlords, are actually people of clay and iron. The clay is flesh. The iron is the transdimensional demonic entities. Many of them from not only different dimensions but different parts of our universe have ruled over us, and we've had genetic hybridization ruled over by evil, people channeling entities, grabbing technologies like the <clears throat> German Society of the Bell that trans, the trans literally uh, channeled the technology for gravitonics. And I'll explain anti-gravity here to give you an idea of just how much I do know, and I'm giving you little tiny snippets. Gravity, and I know this from classified and other sources, is real simple. Think of Archimedes' principle. And the bosons, which are, of course, wormholes, microscopic, you create a boundary zone so that they can no longer pass through an object which curves time space and that boundary zone they were using was actually a whirling mass of plasma of mercury quicksilver the germans had discovered so they could create anti-gravity there's other technologies using superconductor materials and once you create a boundary zone it's a little different than having a boat made of steel or concrete it made a lot of it made a high pitch sound when the germans used it Right, and what would happen is that you create a boundary zone and those bosons push against the that boundary zone and you end up with, quote, anti-gravity. That's how simple it is. It's Archimedes' principle, only gravitons are like the analogy of water. So when Archimedes discovered his principle back in a, book, in a, in a, in a tub in ancient Greece, I'm telling you how anti-gravity works and how wormholes work, which is why interstellar travel at speeds past the speed of light are simply based not on the fourth dimension but on the fifth because there's granularity to space-time. And the reason why they're so hell-bent on finding the master of the God particle, which is the boson, is because they would be masters not only of they already have, which is helium-3 nuclear fusion reactors, they want the power of black holes, because every galaxy has a giant black hole, 2.5% of the mass of, the, of any galaxy, no matter how big or small, and every star is connected by a white hole where mass and energy re-emerge in the star, just like Christmas lights on a tree. So you've heard a few things that you'll not hear, maybe for decades, in any regular scientific journal, but I've told you some of the things I know. Back in a moment. Your turn. I want you to kind of uh, quote this article because I, I constantly hear the issues and we talk about this. I'll be getting Tex Mars back on, but people need to know God is long suffering. We're all sinners. And the nation of Israel has sinned, and the nation of America has sinned more. Even though America has done great good and so has ancient Israel, we've also done more evil, Israel and America, than almost any other nations in history. And God will take these reprobate nations. A lot of evil lately. I, I don't want to take up. But, uh, Chris, well, well I just want to finish. I want to finish this though. Important stuff. But, yeah, but I want to finish okay, this though uh, first. So, article, Tim, I want to finish I this first. About earlier, Tim, uh, Tim, let me finish in, this first. Uh, it's in Veterans Today. Um, yeah. it, Tim, it, it, I'm going to finish this first, okay? Before oh, okay, before you do that, the important thing here is Israel. It was founded as a satanic, Sabbatean, Khazarian devil worshipping nation but God has planted them in the land using high level satanic masons but he's going to have them repent 
And it says right in the Bible, two-thirds of Jews will not repent, and they will be separated from the Creator forever, but one-third will. So God is going to cause a great restoration, but He's going to have to put them through hell first. And that we talked about this the other day with the head of the uh, Joel Chernoff from the Messianic Jewish Alliance of America. The restoration comes when we repent, when we pray for those sinners, like when we pray for Obama, who's a maniac bastard. When we pray for Bill Clinton, when we pray for George Bush Sr., when we pray right back to George Bush um, Jr., when we pray for right back to uh, Jimmy Carter who was a Christian and a physicist and did great evil and cried at the White House when he realized who he had to appoint and he didn't have enough guts to stand up then so now he's in well with habitat for humanity trying to make up for what he's done what we need to do is have a spiritual backbone and put God first in everything and every word we say and not shrink and worry about offending people including relatives our jobs our other things we need to put God first yeah, and when I'll we do that so Israel will be will Israel will be Israel will be dealt with they will be crushed like a flower to create perfume fragrant to the voice and smell of the most high god and our nation, America, is about to get crushed. This bastard Obama and these damn politicians that voted against getting rid of the spying and so on, when we have uh, Snowden now, after he finally gets a change of clothes after the Russians send a, an attorney there, after a whole month of being stuck in a hotel like that movie with Tom Hanks, we've got an obscene situation here, and people try to make it seem like it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay when America, even after the Saudis pull, four months after the Saudis pull support for Morsi, this idiot Obama is still supporting terrorists that want to bring down American airliners with mad pets and stinger jets, stinger yeah, missiles. Of course. Uh, you know, uh, give you an example. Okay, you, you say how God, you know, wants wants people to come to Him, including some of these some of the worst people. Now, I don't exactly have you know, a lot of respect for Old Man Bush. He was uh, they didn't call him Poppy because they they thought he was a daddy. They called him Poppy because he was yeah, right. involved in the opium trade. But he, uh, it was, it, I just saw a picture of him today. He's in the wheelchair most of the time. And he shaved his head because one of his security people uh, has a two-year-old son that has cancer and uh, right. has lost his hair uh, from chemo. And he shaved his head uh, in sympathy with this kid and showed the kids on, on his lap. Now, uh, I, you know, I, 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 the world's a, a strange place, and God works in strange ways. And another thought I'd be on. Uh, 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 talking with a few million people listening to me praising George Bush Sr. But i got to tell you, he did the right thing. He, he, I'll only he praise him when he does one thing. A little kid when, and showed sympathy. I, I, yeah, but remember now, good works that are done, not out of the will of the Most High God, but to pump up your own ego. Remember, I'm going to well, repeat this no, again for everybody out there, is that good is to hear and do the will of the Father, and evil is anything other than it, including what looks good, including massaging your ego by shaving your head when you actually won't well, come and maybe, clean we don't know. with all maybe the evil you've right done. Reason. No, I don't care what his reasons are. His public de lack of denial, for example, if he, when he called in 1991, 10 years to the day before the 9-11 disaster, you know this man was involved with setting this oh, up. Oh, I know. You know I, I, I believe so me. What, what, I'll tell you when I believe that George Bush and what I'm praying for him is if one reprobate like him or Henry Kissinger, Henry Kissinger, if we had one of these <laughs> bastards <laughs> repent publicly and tell a hundred million people who says Deagle is nuts and belongs in a psych ward, they repent and they become believers and saved and not go to the lake of fire. But you know what? These people will shave their head, but they won't shave their spirit of evil. They won't own up to what they've done. As God says, bring your sins to me publicly in the open, and I will wash them as white okay, as wool. Things i got, I got to cover here real quick. In Israel, uh, they had a, a, a real uh, uh, downpour a few days ago. And and a uh, road collapse between Israel, uh, I mean, between uh, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Well, it's right. come out that they have imported a significant number, but they don't, they won't say how many, of really massive German-made boring machines. And yeah, right. Israel is in the process of building massive underground chemical, nuclear, and biological warfare shelters. And evidently, they're even stretching from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Uh, that's that's one thing, and that means they're getting ready for for literally um, nuclear warfare. Um, Armageddon. 
The other thing again, was, uh, I, I want to quote real quick here, and we got to let Chris talk because Chris has got fantastic stuff. Uh, but uh, this is from the the article I was speaking of earlier in in the Veterans Today. A few evangelicals evangelicals think Netanyahu is the Antichrist. They cite the Bible verses: the proverbial Antichrist suffers a headroom, then recovers. Bibi's loss suffered as a loss of head of state in '99, recovering in 2009, becoming prime minister again. Add to this the fact that he is firstborn. He is the first prime minister to be born in Israel. He also speaks with the authority of the dragon, another Antichrist attribute. He holds attention to world leaders. He got his authority from the world's foremost financial power, the satanic worshiping Rothschilds, the dragons. Um... And he says, I second Kevin Barton's, uh, Barnett's motion. Now to you for Antichrist has my vote. Uh, <laughs> yeah. was yeah. really I know there's all kinds of, Tim, there's lots of people that will, are what I call prophecy students. But all that will be swept away when true prophecy comes forward. There's two individuals you need to watch for, and this is actually in the Bible. One brings forth and enforces the mark of the beast in the whole world, and that's the false prophet. And the other is a beast dictator identified in Ezekiel 38 and 39 that's, I am against you, O Gog, which is a Hebrew name, meaning he's of Hebrew descent, O chief prince of Meshach, Tubal, and Rosh of Russia. So we know that the current leader of America is the man who will enforce the mark of the beast, and it's going to come from the United States, not from Israel, and that the leader of Russia will be the beast dictator. That's it. Then also we know that the one marrying these two together, like a marriage, is the Vatican, which is head of the World Council on Churches, that wants to bring forth Chrislam, which is the religion of the end. It's the, as it says in Saddleback Church here in California, and right across the nation, the big movement right now is the dialogue between Christianity and Islam. That's the religion, which is why in the end times they're beheading Christians. Because remember, the Muslims believe that Isa, who's their name for Jesus, is going to come back and he's become a Muslim, and he's going to kill Christians and Jews if they won't convert to Islam. That's that's what they teach, and we're not talking about extreme Islam. We're talking about all, all, all Muslims. So this is not this is not something. When you have your popes, both popes teaching this, bring both Islam, and you have this idiot up in a Saddleback Church, I'm not even going to mention his name, you know we're in the end. And America is the great Satan, and the lesser Satan is Israel. These nations have to repent because there's the two houses of Israel. If for America, which is the ten northern tribes, their peoples cast off by the Medo-Persians, the first invasions, and the Jews, which are the half-tribe of Benjamin and the Jews, which is called the nation of Israel, but it's Judah, is what it really is, these two houses God is going to deal with before the end of history. And our nations have done unbelievable evil. America is, when we hear Snowden being chased around, 90% of the cash published in the earth, either printed money or electronic, is in American dollars. That's why it's not going to go away. It's going to mutate, especially after the end of this year on your birth date, into the mark of the beast because it's going to be biometric world currency and it's tied directly to the immigration bill that Bonner is now entertaining. So, no. Bibi Netanyahu is a player, but he's not the gay main guy. It's a U.S. president and a Russian leader. You, you don't know anybody that's drawing breath right now that knows more about the mark of the beast than I do. I'm not arguing with you. Yeah. Nobody. <clears throat> Welcome back. And we want to hear from uh, Chris because I, I can tell you what's going on in Fukushima Daiichi is dire. On top of that, we have the dire bond market blow with the government trying to jump on the poor pensioners. We have the uh, airborne plagues coming from the Hajj that's coming in September, October. We have the craziness of the UV light surges, which we'll discuss tonight in hour two with Jeff Rents. And what's going on with the sun going crazy because of the approach of a red dwarf star that's coming from the southern ecliptic and the approach this October, November of the Ison comet, which is dumping millions of, literally tons per day, of dust into the trail that's over a half million miles long. People don't understand that what's going on in Fukushima Daiichi is the greatest environmental disaster of human history. And that's just a start. Uh, what's happening, Chris? What, what's going on in Fukushima? And you've sent me some amazing reports the last few days that are stunningly well, it, scary. 
Stunningly scary. And la- la- last week we alluded to, to something going on at, at Unit 3 in, in Fukushima. I said, I really got to confirm and verify before I put it out there. And it has been confirmed and verified that something is going on at Unit 3 causing something that looks like steam or water vapor. <laughs> but it could be, we don't know what kind of vapor it is. But Let's roll back what Unit 3 is. Unit 3 is a MOX reactor, which is an illegal mixed oxygen fuel reactor to create plutonium pellets for advanced plutonium directed nuclear weapons it is against the law in japan it is against international law in the iea we're all silent on this and the japanese in tokyo and in fukushima daiichi and general electric are silent on the fact that reactor three is having hypercritical reactions aren't they yeah you know well it appears that way i'm going to tell you why we talked about i know i put out little silly anecdotes and labels saying there's a nuclear lava lamp and all that, but it looks like it's true. I mean, I have I have to conclude that it that parts, parts of the core have gone critical, and they can't stop it. There's no way to stop it. We're talking 5,000 degree temperature but, but times the, of heat. Now. They're, so they're not just stopping it. They have... Fahrenheit. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Now here's what's going on. The the ground level of of tritium is rising. Now what tritium does correct. is it slows it neutrons. And neutrons, when you get a lot of slow neutrons, increases what's called criticality. You have a lava lamp effect down there where this is a conglomerating in certain areas. You have an increasing amount of plutonium 239, cesium 134, uh, uh, iodine 131, etc. All these radioisotopes are decaying, but they're decaying at an accelerating rate because of slow neutrons. And now they're adding liquid glass to the area, supposedly to try to seal it off. They had a crazy idea to put concrete on the ocean floor. They don't have any idea where with ground penetrating radar or public reporting or with radiation detection either on the ground or over the site exactly where the hot spots are. We have no reports on the actual radioisotope isolation, but we found out recently, and you gave me the report, that they're not removing from the liquid radioactive, highly radioactive water, strontium-90, plutonium-239, and cesium-134. And these are the worst of the worst. They're just isolating a few of the isotopes, and they're not converting it to solid waste and removing it safely. They put it in containers that they now know are leaking, and we have an additional 400 tons per day that are leaking into the Pacific Ocean or being blasted by steam jets that can be kilometers away into the troposphere. That's how crazy this is, and it's to sterilize the entire population of the northern hemisphere, and, of course, it's leaking across with the trans-equatorial currents to the southern hemisphere because they detected a year and a half ago along the eastern side of Australia that they had a surge of radiation there for a week. So it's not, they're not totally safe down there either. Yeah, and even uh, Tanaka, the head of their new nuclear regulatory agency, has said, that, that there's leaks occurring right now in, into the ocean. And if you've got an idea to stop it, let us know. I mean, basically, they're throwing their hands up in the air. And, I, and that was what I feared a long time ago. There I can tell you what they do to stop it. What they need well, to do we, is they we, need we, to take we, a we, nanoparticle we, boron and boronated water and turn it into a crystalline structure, and they need to remove the solid waste and turn it into a solid waste, put it in double hull ships, and put it at the bottom of a tin mine. But can they Nothing's being do that done. anymore because it's gone so deep under it, it's in the ground now? doesn't matter how deep it is. They could tunnel underneath it down a half a mile if they needed to. The problem is now what's going on is hydroventing, which means we now have radiation detectors. You can go on YouTube and see them in northern Tokyo, which is like 100-some kilometers away. Yeah. This is venting into the tube trains 100 kilometers away plus in northern Tokyo, outskirts of Tokyo, which means it's going through crocs and iraqs 100 miles. We don't know how far out in the ocean. And so, you know, it's like the old idea, what you don't see can't hurt you. They're not telling us anything. And now what America has done, the EPA, they've raised the standard for radioisotopes. In some cases, the isotope levels for what we call safe levels have been raised 120 thousand times 120,000 which means if you take their calculations their chances of getting a lethal life-ending cancer is now 1 in 1.7 specifically steam is rising around the area known as the shield plug region which means it has to be coming from down deep either either through a broken pressure containment vessel and coming out that way which I suspect or or it's or it's uh, coming from inside the reactor itself, where the head is blown, and it could be coming from in there too. So I can't tell. Nobody's going to be able to well, because of radiation. Fir- first off, they, they could 
They could have cabled robots going in there because the regular robot, the integrated circuits will be fried by radiation, what's called gamma doping or neutron doping of the integrated circuits. We have pyromagnetic chips, which are the IEEE primary chips I saw manufactured at Atmel Corporation. We've got deep space robots that work on a deep space NASA and other programs that are classified black op uh, for deep space robotics work. We're not using any of this technology to actually go in there and try to help. You don't see a team of American, European, or other scientists trying to help the Japanese who basically said we're not going to put any money. You know what they do on the weekend? They go home. Yeah, they, they have someone puts a chain lock on the fence. I, I you got a chain go lock on the fence. Uh, when we said that, that for Fukushima, cold shutdown is a myth, I really meant it. And I was, I'm not very happy about seeing this. I was hoping that things... Well, it's a myth there. They cannot cool a non coolable geometry with, well, with the it, system that they have. It's here's the other side of it. Now, when I mentioned this before about peak oxygen, and I'm going to continue this an hour or two tonight with rents, peak oxygen is this. As we increase UVB light because of increased solar activity caused by the approach of the red dwarf star that's coming in, as we decrease the uh, ozone layer by chewing it up with nanoparticle thorium, barium, and aluminum in the upper troposphere, uh, as we continue to do stupid things, and by the way, chlorofluorocarbons, a brick doesn't float in the pool. There's no such thing as CFCs, but these nanoparticles are up there, and they stay up two and a half to four years, and I got that information classified sources drained from the air that could fly to Buckley and Peterson Air Force Base as a Colorado because I was one of their doctors. So this is not secondhand. I had firsthand information right from Dr. Isley, who set up the World Constitution Parliament Association 58 for the United Nations, and he spent an entire evening explaining in exquisite detail exactly how they're geoengineering the Earth in 1997 fall. So when people say, you don't know, Diggle, you have no idea how much I know. And I can tell you, it is craziness. And what's going on now is we're about to have a crop failure worldwide. We have a surge in energy and UV strobing that could happen after the ISON comet. And now we've got Fukushima Daiichi that's putting radioiodine and other isotopes up like Krypton. And they chew away at the ozone layer even faster. So it's another side effect of, of Fukushima that the ozone layer in the Arctic and the Antarctic is going bye-bye, see ya, and, have a nice and day. And the weather patterns continue to deteriorate. They had the most right. snow in Buenos Aires, Argentina, since uh, 1912. That's because it was they, snow in Brazil and in Uruguay on the beach. It's winter down there, but I mean they don't they don't get snow in those places as a rule. That's because they have what's called nucleated snow. What happens is when you get these nucleated snow with these radioisotopes and particles, whether it's volcanic nucleated snow or radioisotopes, it speeds up the formation of snow when it just gets past freezing. And now we have a situation where we're going to get crop failures everywhere. We're going to have an ozone hole, and if it punches through, we can have strobing of the earth. And I can tell you, if you've seen bad weather now, <laughs> we better start praying face down because I can tell you, there's as much as you can do to prep. Our prep right now is face down with sackcloth and ashes, praying to the Most High God to take out the evil out of this earth and to save us from disaster, because our world is entering the fire. Yeah. We are in so much trouble, you can't even imagine. If you knew what I knew, let me tell you, I good thing I have a strong face in the Most High God. It is, it is a lot. Yep. And it's, a, you know, I don't speak as just an authority on this. I speak as a, as a witness, as a prophet of the Most High God to warn people we are in national, international, and global disaster zone, red, five alarm fire right now. And everything is about to fly loose. Everything. Without our Creator God intervening, mankind. And our world will soon end.